Hey guys, so it's been a year. Let's see how the compost pile's doing. Hey, today I'm gonna give you an update on the compost pile that I started almost a year ago. Now, I have a two batch system, a two bin system here. The first bin that's open, I started, like I said, back in January when I made the first video on composting. And I'll link to that up here if you wanna kinda of check that out for yourself. I've kind of been letting it marinate for almost six months where I haven't been adding any more batches on a weekly or semi-weekly basis. So the other bin that is still closed, I've been adding to and contributing to um, on the regular. And now that this first bin is now ready, I think for harvesting, we'll take a look, see how it's going. So this is what the compost is looking like now. And, you know, kind of has a nice soil-like appearance. There were a few kind of egg bits and things that were added a little bit later. Not all of those are broken down completely. Now, if we compare that to the pile that's actively being composted, it's just a lot juicier. You still have some kind of green elements. There are very visible fragments of potato skins and you know some of the brown, some of the leaves and mulch type things that are still left in there. So this is the active pile that we're still contributing to. And basically once we get this out of there, uh, we're gonna add this to the garden and see how, uh, see how it works out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal this one up so that we only dump the fresh pile. Okay. Right, so the compost is falling out. That <laughs> looks like crap. I'm gonna help scoop this out. I'll be right back. All right, so we cleared most of it out. Looks pretty good. This is how much we got. So it definitely is a little wet, a little too much moisture in here. I think for the next round, I'm gonna be adding more browns. I'm sure it'll be just fine. And I'm sure that it will certainly be nourishing to the uh, plants, but uh, let's go ahead and drop it off. So I'm gonna be adding it to the bed on top of the mulch for this little bamboo hedge that we have growing. And it's really grown a lot since we planted it in April. So about six, seven months ago. And it's doing its job stopping the golf balls, which is nice. So we're gonna add some of this fresh compost to the mix. Okay. I'm gonna add this to each the bamboo bases here and I'm going to cover up cover it up with mulch so overall for my first attempt at composting I give myself like a B minus I think that whatever I threw onto the bamboo will certainly help. And there was definitely a reasonable amount of homogeneity to the compost. Like I said, I think there was too much moisture in this particular batch, but it definitely wasn't like a fetid, rotten sample. It had a smell, but it wasn't, it wasn't particularly noxious. So I don't think that there's any real harmful bacteria in there that's gonna be a problem for the plants. I guess we'll see. I just dumped it on the whole lot of bamboo. So hopefully, uh, I didn't just kill them all. I also think that because I was freezing my discarded waste in plastic bags or in this little bin in the freezer, I wonder if the frozen matter was taking in some humidity from the air as condensation and adding too much moisture to the bin. So again, another reason to dehydrate it a little bit more with either some sawdust or some drier paper products. I think if you're thinking of composting, uh, check out my first two videos where I talk a little bit about why you should do it and how I've been doing it. And uh, like I said, now that I've had some time with experience, I know to add a little bit more brown. So I've been adding about one to one, maybe just shy of one to one in terms of a little bit more green to brown. So I'm gonna bump that up to maybe one, at least one and a half browns to greens so that I know that um, I'm gonna be dehydrating this compost a little bit more. and. Yeah, we'll see how, uh, how the next batch goes, but thanks for checking in and I'll keep you posted on the progress. Have a great day. Bye.